Bill, I wanted to ask you, did you see did you see this whole uh Dwayne Wade pregame fiasco with the with the uh I guess the Canadian national anthem? Yeah, I, I saw I, I, I heard a hell of a lot more about it than I saw of it, but uh I don't know how to go, take it, though. I mean, you know, I took a little, little, little shot on Twitter yesterday, and, uh, man, I, they, they, they try and eat you alive there. But, you know, Dwayne's a, you know, he's a 12-year veteran. I mean, he should know better. I mean, he really should. Um, he's making a, you know, this, a story, you know, kind of a story. Sometimes it's a non-story. But if, if the shoe was on a different foot, and let's say LeBron ever did something like that, oh, my God, that would be leading sports center. Yeah, and the fact that it's LeBron, it would it would make it an even bigger story, no question. But I just this is just so this is just so irrelevant and so dumb, and people just love it. It's another example of how people just love to find something to be up in arms about and really to to bitch about. That's exactly what it is. And who I mean, no one would even really think twice. I wouldn't even have thought twice about it. I don't think if I was at the game. It's the Canadian national anthem. It's not. It's not the. It's not the American national anthem. It's not. Like, well, I am curious to know what he was doing during the United States national anthem. I don't know if they play one before the other, or if he got a line for that, or what it was. But I mean, come on. I, I don't even think it, it. This should. This should matter, and it just shows that people just love finding something to freak out about, and. It uh, I don't know. It kind of just made me laugh because now he's gonna come out and apologize for something. It's like, geez. Now I don't think he'll make end because no, I don't it think obviously so. turned into something. But man, give the guy a break. Yeah, he's what they were saying was he always does that ritual where he kind of has to hit his last shot, and he kept missing. So supposedly, I I didn't see the whole thing. I kind of go a bits and pieces of it. You know, I'm sure uh, Toronto will welcome him with open arms when they get to play Game Five in Toronto later in the week. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. They'll get a nice warm reception there. They might not be saying "Oh Canada," they might be saying "Oh Wade, you suck" or something like that. Something like yeah, that. They're, yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're, they're going to be doing something, man. It won't be a warm reception for him, 